first time I heard about Hearthstone was at uh, PAX East. I, I wasn't at PAX East myself, but I was watching uh, because there was a Blizzard announcement. And uh, I was expecting Heroes of the Storm being announced, even though it was announced before. I didn't expect Hearthstone. So I was watching the announcement and then suddenly Rob Pardo just gets out um, and, and tells everybody about the new card game that will be digital. And it was it was really a great moment because I was expecting Blizzard to work on a card game, but I, I really thought they are working on World of Warcraft TCG card game because that was leaked some time ago. I didn't expect Hearthstone, but I, I instantly loved it. Like I knew when they released Hearthstone that unfortunately uh, my card game Warcraft is is dead like there is no way Blizzard is going to continue a second franchise that will be competing with their own um, big new franchise but uh, I just loved Hearthstone how simple it was it was using a lot of World of Warcraft art as well so a lot of nostalgia from the cards I really liked and uh, it was digital so I knew that this this is my gateway to esports and because at the time I, I felt like I'm I'm really good at World of Warcraft I wanted to jump on the Hearthstone train as soon as possible and, and play it and be one of the top players uh, from, from the get-go. But I had no connections to Blizzard and it was really hard to get to, uh, to, get to beta and um, I didn't know exactly what to do. So the first thing I had to do was get to get the beta, beta key. And uh, what I did was I spent countless evenings just trying to get one of the free keys Blizzard was giving away uh, in batches. I was fighting against the bots that were just stealing the keys, just spending, let's say, five hours just refreshing my site to get one beta key uh, to get into the game and start playing it. I memorized, I memorized all the cards even before I got the beta key. And uh, in the end, I finally got it uh, through a competition where I could send my video explaining why I should get a key. And fortunately, I got one. And um, I think I got my beta in November. So November was the, de the, the month where I started playing. And I instantly tried to get into the scene. Um, and I, fortunately, I was really lucky because my friend Ecop, uh, who was um, who is a, a German player, um, was in the scene already. Like He got uh, lucky himself and uh, exploded with his stream. And he got a lot of viewers. And through Ecop, I was able to meet Artosis. I was able to meet Doa, uh, big names in the esports scene. And we somehow uh, worked together um, to, to just um, to get Artosis to BlizzCon, uh, practice with him, and uh, Artosis actually won BlizzCon. So our team, uh, we, did, we didn't have a name at the time yet, but uh, our team was actually practicing a lot together and trying to get into the esports scene together, which worked because Artosis, being a, a big esports guy, uh, he got invited to a, a new series called ESGN. And uh, at ESGN, um, we created a new team with Ecop, with Nyx, with Artosis, who was our captain uh, for the new team. And we com competed versus those other really big names and, uh, and known streamers. So ESGN was the start. It uh, helped me to, to get there to the scene, uh, to have my first matches, to show that I can actually play card games uh, because I had experience uh, with it before. And uh, the more I got into it, the more I loved Harson. But obviously, I had my normal job. So it was uh, really... Cam like, it was difficult to, to work and to play at the same time because you have normal job, you have normal duties, and you also have to be a professional at a card game. Uh, but somehow I got through and I played in many tournaments. Uh, I won a big MLG tournament online in December uh, that helped me to, to prove to myself that I still, I, I'm still good at the card games and I'm good at Hearthstone. Then I won, uh, I was second at Seed Story Cup tournament. I was second at Take TV uh, tournament in Germany. Th those were offline events. And then I won IEM, uh, the first Intel Extreme Masters finals. Uh, there were only four players, but four players that are really good at, at the game. And I was able to take it and become the first IEM champion. So I imitated what I loved in World of Warcraft with Hearthstone. So I had friends again, a great group of practice partners, and we were traveling to all those offline events where I was able to just play and uh, hang out and have fun. But uh, I was traveling into those uncharted waters of esports because I only played card games before and tabletop games. I didn't know much about video games. I mean, I was reading about Korea being great at StarCraft, and I was reading about people like Grubby playing World of Warcraft, uh, Warcraft 3, and being great at being the best orc in, in Europe, or maybe in the world even. Uh, but I didn't know those guys, and somehow through Hearthstone, I started meeting them. I, I made friends with them, and uh, we're just hanging out. It was, it was great. So my first year in Hearthstone, which is 2014, 
was me trying to be a pro player and uh, trying to be good at the game and uh, just being invited to tournaments, qualifying for tournaments, uh, enjoying the game, enjoying the experience, meeting with Blizzard as well, uh, being friends with Blizzard through the process and um, trying to become a full-time esports professional, which is really hard. It's like you really have to do a lot to be there. Um, you have to talk to a lot of people. You have to be friends with a lot of people and you have to work really hard on the game, your, name, uh, your game knowledge. But um, I also want to tell you the story about Cloud9, obviously, because Dogger House at some point, it, um, it ceased to exist. Like, Dogger House was mostly a group of friends. Uh, we were just playing together, practicing together, and going to the tournaments together, but it was not a part of organization. And in, in esports, there's a lot of big organizations that are actually uh, making a living out of, out of the games. So they have players, they have sponsors, they have budgets, and they have contracts. And uh, Dogger House didn't have it, and uh, we didn't have the management needed for that. So we approached uh, Cloud9 and, and asked, hey, you guys are looking maybe for a Hearthstone team? We have one and it's actually pretty good. So maybe we can make a deal and maybe we can work together. And Cloud9 was in interested in, in us. It was um, at the time we were playing with Striker as well. So it was me, Ecop, Strifecrow, and I was also talking to Colento if he's uh, willing to join a team if we, if we start working with Cloud9. So... Um, Cloud9 was really interested, and we found um, like similar understand like we, we found understanding basically, and we joined Cl joined Cloud9. I became the captain of a team because I have management experience, and it's not like the best t uh, the best player is always the captain. I, I definitely wasn't the best player, and I'm still not the best player, but I think I'm alright as a caster, and I'm trying to help the team as the captain and as um, Hearthstone manager.